Hi, this is John from Hendrickson Electronics, and today I'm going to show you how to change the uh, CBD bones on your TC4 club racer from the composite plastic ones to the uh, heavy duty aluminum ones. Okay, I've already taken off the wheels, and I'm going to start taking apart the front uh, axle. You gotta get these little guys off too. If you can see that. Some of them are tight and some of them are loose, so see what happens when you do it. There we go. You might have all tight ones, you might have all loose ones, yours might be like mine. Now watch out for these washers and uh, spacers in here. There's the old uh, CVD. Got a spacer down in here in the uh, drive cup. There it is. Okay, now if you can see that, there's a little screw that holds that in there. This is the wrong screw. There we go. And same with the, uh, the roll pins. Some of these are Loctited, some of them aren't. This one had a little bit of Loctite. One of them had like no Loctite and the other one was totally Loctited. So you take that out, and then you can push your uh, your pin through this way, or well, it doesn't matter which way. And there you go. That's the part you're changing. These are what we're putting in. Now when you put this back together, it's not that hard as long as you can get everything to line up. There we go, first, first shot through. That was an easy one. And I like to flip it to the other side. This one's got a better head on it. The other the side I was using has that uh, beveled roll head or whatever they call it. Okay, so that's uh, good to go. Make sure that these are centered. 
see how these are centered. Okay. I've got to get that spacer back in there. Okay, I guess I got to put this on in through first. Don't forget about these little guys, otherwise your suspension will be very sloppy. Looks like it's about right. This is actually really easy to do. Hardly any uh, wrench turning. Not too much difficulty here. gets in place. You don't want to over tighten it. This these cars are very uh, easy to break. If you over muscle things. Put back on the washer and the roll pin. Use pliers to center it if it's a tight one. It's got to be centered, otherwise the uh, the hex adapter won't fit. And plus, everything should be centered and stuff, anyways. Obviously. This one is giving me trouble. There we go. <coughs> Put this little hex adapter back on. There's no uh, screw in these ones. They're just plastic, I believe. But they do the trick. Put the wheel back on. Check it. I don't like these plastic tools that Associated gives you. I miss when everybody gave you metal tools. And I don't feel like paying $50 for a socket set. I'd rather buy parts. Okay, on to the back. The back's even easier. Pop this little guy off. It's 
see if this is a loose one. Oh yeah, it's a loose one. See, some are tight, some are loose. Take the washer out. There we go, same thing. Same size, same screws. This one added somewhat amount of Loctite on it, not as bad as one of the other ones. dog hair everywhere over here. Just hold your fingers over these little screws, or the over the, the ends of the pins, and that'll keep it centered when you're tightening the, uh, the screw that captures them. Oops, I'm not even showing that. Alright. So, there's the last dog bone, CVD, whatever you want to call it. Let's put it in. It's hard to twist. get these pins in you just lift the, the axle through a little bit and then the hole will appear and you just push them in Yeah, I really don't like these plastic tools from Associated. I love Associated, but the plastic tools have got to go. Spend a couple bucks. We're paying a lot of money for these kits. What's an extra $5? I'd pay the extra $5 on the kit and not even care, you know? All right.
Still gotta clamp one of these other clamp things on here for the upper link. Forgot about that one. There we go. All right, there's a TC4 club racer now with uh, aluminum drive shafts all the way around. Next, I'll do the uh, the diff out drives on the rear because I believe they're plastic and I don't want any plastic in this drivetrain. I think I'm kind of stuck with the plastic up here though, but that'll probably hold up. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.